Guys, welcome back. Don't forget to like and subscribe all our videos. So today I decided that I'm going to uh, go over to my mom's shoulder and watch how she makes puri since I've never done it before. So this is going to be a learning experience for both me and you. So for the ingredients, you'll need two cups of flour in a bowl. Then you're going to pour in a quarter cup of oil and then you're going to mix it together with a spoon. And then we're going to add one and a half to two cups of milk. So what we're going to do, we're going to first mix the flour and the oil together with a spoon with a bit of milk. And as we continue, we're going to add a bit more milk until we get a nice combined mixture. We're first going to mix with a spoon, then we'll go ahead and with our hands and knead the dough together until it combines nicely. What we don't want to do, we don't want our dough too sticky and we also don't want our dough too dry. If your dough is too sticky, add a little bit more flour. If your dough is too dry, add a little bit of milk. So just watch this guys. Now that our dough is nicely combined into a nice soft ball, what we're going to do, we're going to put it onto a floured surface and roll it out as thin as possible. Just remember, the thinner you make it, the better, because uh, thicker puris do tend to be a bit more raw in the middle. So we try to roll it as thin as humanly possible, <laughs> as you can do it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take a glass or whatever you'd like to use. We normally use the glass and we dip it into flour and we use that to cut the circles for the puris that we're going to make. Also remember, if you're going to do this process, it's not a good idea to reuse the left. Once your dough is fully formed, what we're going to do, we're going to take it and roll it as thin as possible. We're going to roll it until we get the nice thinnest sheet of uh, dough possible. And then we're gonna take a glass uh, to the size of the puri that you would like and we're going to dip in a little bit of flour and then we're going to cut out our puris to the shape that we want. For the puri we're going to put the oil on a high heat and then we're going to put it into the oil. It's going to fry very quickly as you'll see. Once you put it in, it'll rise up very quickly. And once it gets to a nice uh, bubbly consistency on the top of the puri, then we're going to flip it. Uh, the puris don't take very long to fry. As you can see, this is a live video in terms of how long it actually takes to fry. So just watch it don't get burnt, guys. Make sure you don't drop any water into the oil or anything of that sort. Just be safe. There you have it, my mom's recipe on how to make puri, so let me know how it goes. Thanks guys for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to comment below if you like me to make any other videos. Uh, my next video I'm going to talk my mom with is how she makes roti, so keep posted guys.